Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you do this workout with me. It's gonna be an intense glute workout. We just took our intense pre-workout. It has like 250 milligrams of caffeine, which is a lot. So you know that we mean business today when I take this pre-workout. Okay, let's get started. We are doing a warm-up on the Stairmaster. We're gonna be doing step-ups, so you're going to skip a step I'm at level six and all your weight is going to be in your heels and you're barely holding on just to balance yourself. You're not really holding on a ton. And this will warm up our legs to prepare us for our workout. We are starting off with some cable kickbacks. I already did my first set. This is my second set. We are increasing the weight. And then on our third set, we will increase the weight again. I did 15 reps, now I'm gonna do 12 and then I'll do 10. Okay, so for this, I like to have a nice firm foundation with my arms and I'm, up, I'm about this distance <laughs> from the machine. So I like to use these wraps, but if you have to use the one that goes around your foot, that's okay too. So this leg is gonna be a little bent, this one's a little bent and your foot is actually gonna be angled outwards like 20 degrees, very slightly. And then you're just going to drive back and squeeze at the top. I'm on my second set and we are going to do progressive overload so we're going to increase each set. I did 15 reps, now I'm going to do 12 and then 10. So I'm at 145, I'm going to 160 but do what is pretty challenging for you but not going to hurt yourself, you know. I like to put my hands on the back of the seat to give myself some leverage and then you're just going to lift and do the movement. Okay, 12. Whew. Now we're gonna do 10. Now I'm going to 175. I've never tried 175, so let's see how this goes. I feel like it's a lot lighter when you lift yourself. Like if I do 175 like this, it's a lot harder. Woo, but this is still hard. Okay, three. Feel the burn for sure. If you did not know this hack, you put a light thin weight down, roll this weight over, and it's easy to add weight. I did 15 reps, I think 10 to 12, and then now I'm gonna do eight to 10. This is my treble weight. I have a difficult time with this one. This is 315 pounds. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to make sure this box is evenly in the middle. My pad is evenly in the middle. This bar is evenly resting on my hips. And I just like to make sure that I'm all set up for success by being just nice and even. I have a good grip of this pad. 
right below my shoulder blades. And then I'm just gonna drive through my heels and lift. Okay, here we go. We got this. Take some few, take a few deep breaths. Oh, okay. One. Two. Four. Five. Okay. We did six. Pretty good. Okay, we're gonna do two more. I did low key use my forearms. I think that's called your forearm, right? Um, as a little support. Typically you'd want your hands to be a little more straight and move your full body in one motion. But a little help on your third set won't kill anyone. But just don't get in the habit of using your forearms for support. Okay. Oh shoot, see the, when the pad moves. Everything's out of alignment. Gotta start over. Okay, I'm getting so dirty. One, two, we did one, one extra, because we're overachievers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, and those are our hip Rests. I just recorded me doing my last set, but the microphone was not turned on. So I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, again. With single leg hip thrusts, you're gonna to wanna to make sure everything's even. This is my third set. Use a weight that's comfortable but challenging for you by the third set. I started off with 10 on each side, did 15 reps, and then I did 25 on each side, and I did 10 or 12 reps, and then I have 35 on each side, and I'm gonna do 10 reps each leg. So if you're new, definitely just do the bar or do a dumbbell. Remember that you build muscle by tearing muscle fibers and then replenishing them with things like protein and glutamine. So if you're new to this, a bar is going to tear those muscle fibers. For me, I've just been doing this for a long time, so I need heavier weight in order to tear them. Okay. Also, I didn't tell you guys what I'm drinking. It is One Up Nutrition Pure Build, or Pure Rebuild, and it's a combination of creatine, glutamine, and BCAAs, and electrolytes. I've been drinking it for like, couple weeks now I like it taste is 8 out of 10 but I like how everything's like mixed just makes my life a lot easier and I've noticed that this creatine doesn't make me bloat as much as creatine typically does by itself so I like that I still feel a little bloated but it's not that bad okay so again shoulder blades pad right under the shoulder blades we're going to lift one leg is out all my weight is in this heel that leg is just for support. You're gonna go down, all the way up. We did it. Now I have to do 10 on this side though, so my muscles aren't uneven. <laughs> Whew, okay, I'm feeling it. Wow, we've burned 300 calories so far. That means I get to eat extra. I'm also gonna run after this. Stella likes to run a little bit. I feel bad I keep her cooped up all day. It's too hot to go to the park. So at night, I've been taking her on runs. 
trying to get myself to effortlessly run a 5k but right now I'm at a mile and a half <laughs> and I'm just gonna slowly but surely work myself up okay last set the microphone is on Make sure the bar is even, you're not tilting it like this. If you are, then you don't have enough control and you need to lower your weight. <sighs> As I said that, I like went crooked. Okay. <sighs> My goodness. Okay, we are done. <sighs> Yay, that was a good workout. I feel really good. My booty is going to be sore tomorrow. I think to myself, what a wonderful world.